Hey guys, it's Ryu with RyuGaming.com and in this video I wanted to cover a great practice uh, technique or style that I use to improve my aim and that I know will, will improve yours. So what, what led me to discover this is I changed mice and with the new mouse I changed sensitivities. And I really wanted to get the muscle memory developed for my new sensitivity and obviously deathmatch is a great way to do it because you get a lot of opportunities to get kills in a very short period of time. So what I've been doing is I, I'll come into a deathmatch, I'll take the AK and whatever pistol I want, and I force myself to shoot one bullet at a time. So literally, like this. One bullet at a time. The good news is that little to no recoil, um, and it also forces you to, to kind of stop, stop moving. So you can't strafe somebody like this and spray. You really need to kind of plant your feet and put a shot down like that. Um, it also forces you at any range to be able to aim and hit their head. So when they're up close, it takes every ounce of discipline you have to not just start spraying. But if you can get somebody like at this distance from me to the door and you can actually get the crosshair on their head and land the shot, your aim is going to be rapidly improving. So doing this, I, I usually go for about 50 frags for warm up if uh, it's my first time, which this is actually my warm up right now because I haven't played so far today. Uh, I usually go for about 50 frags in a deathmatch. If I'm going to practice for a day, usually 100, try to get maybe 150, 200 frags per day in deathmatch. But just, just making a point of stopping and shooting one bullet at a time. It takes a lot of discipline, and you need to understand you're going to die a lot. People that have either really good recoil control and they'll spray, or they just get lucky, just kind of like running and gunning like this. It's really bad to do that, and so you're, you're breaking those habits as well. But you're going to die to people doing that. And it's okay. It's a deathmatch. It's expected that you're going to die a lot. Um, and that's why you're doing it in a deathmatch. Because, like you see, I just, my reaction time to that shot was super fast. I got the crosser right where it needed to be. You can see I've got 29 bullets left, which means I fired one shot. And it just really, really hones that aim. When you start to get really good with it, expect people to start accusing you of cheating. And it's happened a couple times where people think that I'm aimbotting because I'm... I'm getting so many kills, they're all headshots, and I'm shooting with one bullet at a time. Um, and I'm kind of snapping to wherever I need to put my crosshair beat up here, here, maybe the door, whatever. Um, so if you do this, I, I can pretty much guarantee this will help improve your aim. It's also going to help, like I said, when I discovered it, it was with a new mouse. Um, it'll help you get used to your equipment. So if you've just changed mice and maybe you haven't changed sensitivity, but it, like in my instance here, um, the mouse I have is a much, much softer click. I had a really hard time tapping because I was used to something that was heavier, meaning like I had to push harder for it to just tap at once. And so when I started using this, I was kind of like doing these like two bullet bursts, three bullet bursts, and I wasn't controlling the recoil because when you tap, there's little to no recoil. Um, and I was just kind of spraying over everybody's head. So this helped me get used to that and get adjusted. And I tend to play with more of a, of a burst and tap style than I think most people. Most people are going to spray or... Um, or burst a little bit more than I do. Uh, but you don't have to. This is, the whole point of this is to help your aim. So get your crosshair onto the head, fire one bullet, and, and just rinse and repeat. And it will make your aim better. 